have the best breeze here, right? But many hope there's a breeze blowing in Indianapolis. That's because the New Orleans Saints flag is flying high outside Indiana's governor's office. In a letter to Governor Bobby Jindal, Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels said a deal is a deal. It certainly is. Daniels lost a friendly wager over who would win the Super Bowl, so folks in Indianapolis will see black and gold for another week outside Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels' office. His name pops up in every Saints trivia. Who made the Saints' first touchdown ever? ABC 26 News reporter Glenn Boyd tells us why John Gilliam says he will forever be a Saint. Saints fans will never forget this final touchdown, the interception by Tracy Porter in Super Bowl 44. It sealed the victory. Go back 43 years, and Saints fans won't ever forget this kickoff return for a touchdown, the franchise's first TD. Yeah, as a rookie, 1967, I took the opening kickoff back against the Los Angeles Rams. Right. Former St. John Gilliam was in town over the weekend for Mardi Gras. In fact, he was Grand Marshal in Bacchus. Gilliam played in New Orleans for just one year, but arguably his 94-yard touchdown run, one of the most memorable of all time. I always think about that. That was the highlight of my career. I would never forget that day. That was a great run. The fan base was great, and that will always be part of me. Gilliam lives in Atlanta. The Saints are still his favorite team. He particularly watched closely this past season. I'm very, very happy with the fantastic season that they had this year and, uh, and winning the Super Bowl. It didn't get any better than that. Gilliam was the Saints' second round pick back in 1967. The former All Pro played 12 years in the NFL, most of them with the Minnesota Vikings. But Joe says, at heart, he's a Hoot at. You know, I'm a Saint. I started with the Saints, I came back here and I signed a one-year contract so I can retire as a Saint. If I go in the Hall of Fame, I'm going in as a Saint. What a run. John Gilliam says he returns to New Orleans at least two to three times a year. He says he still has many friends here. He's hoping the Saints' success will lead to a possible place in the Hall of Fame, just as it perhaps was for Ricky Jackson. Gilliam played in two Super Bowls and four Pro Bowls. Michael? Quite a career. All oh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Glenn.